My name is Mark Taylor. I'm the Program and Asset Manager for Nautilus facility here at NAREC. We're stood outside the 3 megawatt drivetrain test facility where we are currently testing uh, on behalf of marine current turbines a 1 megawatt tidal turbine. This facility is really important because it allows us to run the powertrain, the frequency converter, the control system, the grid interface under full load conditions for extended periods of time and allows us to see um, and demonstrate how reliable the equipment is um, such that when we commit and install the machine in the sea we have um, uncovered and cured many of the problems that would have been there and that level of reliability is vital for uh, market development and entry of tidal turbines. The really unique thing about this facility is the ability to apply to the powertrain all the forces, the moments, the thrust, the pushing and pulling um, that it would normally experience when it's working in the sea. So the powertrain believes it's actually attached to a hub and being um, subjected to the really arduous environment that it will be when in service. And because we've got control of those forces, we can actually amplify them and therefore we can age the machine faster than it would do in real life. Um, and we've been able to um, condense 20 years of fatigue load down to a six month period. So once it goes through that test, we can be very, very confident it will be suitable for the application. It's quite unique here because we've got the force application system um, which replaces the rotor essentially. So uh, on, a, on a normal turbine we'd have the, um, the hub mounted onto the input shaft of our powertrain. Um, instead we've got the FAS mounted on the input shaft of the powertrain. And the beauty is that we can program the FAS to run any loads, forces or moments that we want it to uh, want to subject the, the powertrain to. Um, so the powertrain thinks it's got a rotor attached to it. So what we can see here um, as an example are the three forces and the three moments. We've written a, a, a load profile for the FAS um, and that is, that is the FAS doing what, what we've told it to do effectively. Um, so this output that we can see here, um, that's what is being imparted on the powertrain at the moment. The development of marine turbines and getting power off the ocean will continue. And so our designs will continue, either in the direction of upscaling the turbines or get more efficiency out of the water. Bringing something new into the market means testing for risk mitigation purposes. And therefore, we will continue testing our new designs as well. To learn your lessons uh, of non-reliability and, and technical failure offshore is a very expensive way of learning about the capability of your technology. If you can do that in a controlled environment like we have here, then the, the, the cost of learning is much reduced. One of the really important things we need to move forward in this industry, and it's not just Siemens MCT, it's everybody, is um, to be able to convince potential investors that tidal stream energy will work reliably and deliver the returns they need. Um, it's started um, after the wind turbine industry and that is now relatively mature so we've got a lot of catching up to do so testing like this allows us to close that gap um, quite quickly and effectively um, and it allows the customer to have a confidence that if they invest in a Siemens MCT tidal turbine they will have the pedigree and the reliability they expect from the Siemens batch.